Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. If you are new here, I am UTC, and this is The Council. It is rare that I get to introduce a new game to my audience and one that is so outside of our usual wheelhouse. I cannot even remember the last time we played a narrative-driven game. This one has RPG elements and theoretically your choices matter. There are a lot of possible outcomes of your playthrough of the game, so there should be a lot of replay value for you if you enjoy watching and you want to play this for yourself. Uh, the game is filled with historical figures, uh, which appealed to me initially as a guy that went to school for history, although of course it is a work of fiction. It is also a mystery game, as the awkward, gawky, big-nosed, skinny protagonist, and I have to admit that part of the game appealed to me too, that we're not playing some dime-piece handsome bastard, uh, we're playing a pretty goofy nerd. Uh, as the protagonist, guys, we are going to be solving a mystery, and a great mystery, wrapped up with a Da Vinci Code-style occultism, and the game will be filled with those amazing historical figures. I was attracted by that, and I was attracted by the look of the game. You will notice immediately the modeling, the facial details of the characters, as well as the environments, are really highly detailed, and that appeals to me. As for the format of the series, guys, expect longer episodes and expect me to give you every episode uh, in order until we get through this first chunk of the game. The nomenclature is going to be a little complicated. This is part one of episode one of The Council. Episode one is called The Mad Ones. I'm going to play through it, I think, all at once or within a couple of sittings, and I'm going to give you part one all the way through to probably part five, six, or seven um, over the next several days, uh, probably without much in between. So if you're not into the game, might want to tune out of the channel for a couple of days because you're going to be getting a lot of The Council. I am going to be playing this late at night with my headphones and the volume up and the lights off, I recommend you do the same for the sake of immersion, guys. In order to hook you in, I want to give you the best possible opportunity to become immersed, so try doing that. Turn up the volume, throw on your headphones, and turn down the lights. Um, special thank you, by the way, to Carly for hooking me up with my copy of the game. I wanted to wait and make sure that it was worth introducing to you guys and so far the reviews have been excellent and the first bit of gameplay i watched has me hooked although i will give you a warning the opening cinematic almost scared me off after watching it i thought i may not want to play this game so if you find yourself having the same reaction grit grit grin and bear it get through it and get to the gameplay and i think you will enjoy it as much as i did watching the little bit of gameplay that i did all right, guys, without any further ado, let's dive into part one of episode one of The Council. If you enjoy, be sure to let me know. Click the like button and leave me some love in the comments. I will be sure to get down in those comments and reply to see just what kind of a reaction there is to this first video. Let's do this thing, guys. I am going to shut up for big parts of this just so you can follow along. That is our main character. Ugh! Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into.
Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ugh. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Okay, guys. So the game prides itself on the fact that your choices matter. And we've been presented with our first one. Do I break free of the shackles and slap this fool across his bald face? Or do I trust my mom? Now, with games like this, I play as if I am the main character, Louie. And if that was really my mom right there, I would have to trust her. Oh, but I could really slap this fool. No, I gotta trust my mom. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. But I don't play, Von well Borchert. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. That's right, you're getting Come old. On, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. All right, guys. Right, so these are the opening credits. I'm sure that opening scene was littered with clues that at the end of this adventure we will be able to look back on and understand. But for now, I have no idea what's happening. Except that we're headed to the island where Von Borchardt was going to sell that book. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Borchardt's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. This is the Council. Episode 1, The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that, that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. 
contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited Alright, now we meet some well, of the now other that characters. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? All right, guys. So, is it just me? That guy looks a little bit like Von Borchard, doesn't he? And who is the hooker? Business with Lord, Lord Mortimer. Mortimer. asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. The Duchess? God, <laughs> she's dressed like a burlesque dancer. Would a Duchess really dress like that in 1791? Let's say absolutely. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. She is Cardinal. lovely. A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Uh oh. Are you all right? Uh. Okay. Okay. Initiate vision. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! Oh, her hand is gone. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? I'm yes, checking out I'm the sure. details of the room. Right. Where is this? Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't! Who's oh. this? No! <gasps> You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. <gasps> okay, so a vision of the future? What else could that be? You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Okay. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. All right, guys. Now, I am going to be using a controller because I think that's going to be the easiest and most enjoyable way to play. Um, it's telling me to go up to the manor. I wonder if there's anything worth looking around down here. And if it's too dark as I'm editing it, I'll make sure to add a little gamma so it's easy for you guys to see. I don't see anything. I think what happens as you wander around the world is that clues will pop up, will become obvious. 
if there was a clue here, we'd, we'd see a little marker for it, and it would give me an indicator to check it out. Uh, that vision was pretty crazy. Um, so if, well, I mean, it, that can't have already happened because of, especially because of this Duchess's dress. If she'd been shot in the chest, we'd see. And um, that means my mother might still have her hand, and she's almost definitely still on this island. There, there's our first clue. No? Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Okay, now this is where first of the RPG elements, and this is a big, somewhat important choice. Um, diplomat, politics, etiquette. Linguistics, conviction, and diversion. A diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking about without offending them. Gosh, I'm bad at reading. Politics is his field of predilection. Occultist. The occultist uh, comes with the skills manipulation, occultism, erudition, Sciences and subterfuge. Uh, the occultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired an extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. And the detective. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in the people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. And choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will be available, but unlocking them will be a bit more expensive. And we can check that out right here, guys. So there are skill trees, um, looking vaguely like you would see in a Far Cry game or something like that. Um, so if we were to choose a cultist, we would begin with these, and these would be three points. Uh, to unlock level 2 and we'd get level 1 by default. These would all start at level 0, although it seems like you would have a, a basic point here in psychology. Um, so yeah, 3 points to unlock, 3 points to unlock, 4 points, but that's for level 2 and we're starting at level 1. Um, and it looks as though we're, we'd be starting with 3 available points. This is a really tough decision, guys. I, I'm not sure what is going to uh, treat us the best. Um, the one that the one that actually jumped out at me initially, De Detective is fascinating. We're trying to solve a mystery. I can totally see the appeal. Occultist. Our mother is into some freaky stuff. So that makes sense. But we're headed to an island with a bunch of fancy people, and we are not as fancy as them. Perhaps this is the direction to go. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. I think if I'm playing as myself... I might be more into that than, say, manipulation or vigilance and psychology. Let's go ahead and pick the diplomat skill tree. Let me know in the comments if you've watched other Let's Plays, which tree uh, the other uh, YouTube creators have chosen and um, what, what the benefits of those. And if you have any advice on, on leveling up, where to spend my points, etc., I would love to hear it. But let's go ahead and choose this. Now... We have three basic points to spend. At the beginning, I'm going to invest them all, um, I think. Well, this is a tough call. I could put two of them into either manipulation or psychology. Read people's behavior like an open book or uh, get people to act in your own interest. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's spend our first two points outside our skill tree. Let's unlock level one of psychology. And let's go ahead and put our first point into one of these. Linguistics, diversion, politics, conviction. Convince people with the sheer force and will of your attitude. I like the sound of that. Unlocks dialogue. Let's go ahead and do that. Validate is X, which is that. And there you go. Trait unlocked. Diplomat. Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you? 
The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, All right, Emily. first name basis. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Okay. <laughs> I did choose I did choose the diplomat skill. So maybe I can get away with this? Let's find How out. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Dang you, Duchess, you f catching me in my lie. Okay, so skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points the higher your skill level the lower the cost in effort points obviously you can browse your skills we just did that okay so let's clear this out and these are my choices the most probable place would be patty uh, pretend to be okay so if i had the manipulation skill which i i had the opportunity to choose and did not i would i could be like how dare you not remember me duchess but I chose divert. Okay, so diversion comes with this. Chat her up. It'll make her lose her train of thought. That's right, smooth talker. Oh, Emily, I am marked for life. I'm sure you leave your mark on every man who crosses your path. Pardon? That extravagant uniqueness with its rare blend of whimsical banality and cat-like curiosity. There's a veil of mystery around you that only adds to your charm and your curves. You would enchant any man. Hold it, Louis. You've lost me there. It's as that though you have seven terrible. women hidden inside you, Emily. I mustn't share my true feelings about you. If I ever dared, I... I'd... No, dare not, Louis. Better that way. You go and take a deep breath, and we'll forget all about it. Hey, hey, Emily, you've gone all red. Are you, are you blushing? Right, time to go to the manor. That worked? That was awful. Imagine, imagine saying that to a woman. All right. It seems as though I got away with that. I have no idea where I met her. Hopefully, we will find out. Um, your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not... Okay. So does this mean we're going to get one opportunity to find out where we met her? Let's find out. Kiss her or her necklace? I don't, I doubt that's kiss her. What does this mean? I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Okay, personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you back one effort point. Review the immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab of the menu. Immunity revealed and vulnerability re revealed. Okay, so we can check. Okay, do I do that now? I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, I'm using a PlayStation controller, so I'm not sure if that controls Emily, anything. please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't... Okay, wait, wait, I figured it out. Immunity... Okay, so she's immune to, to the logic skill. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess. Close to the crown, very discreet. Uh, but, okay, so she's married um, to, to an old English fellow. Uh, regular visitor, accepted Lord Gregory Holmes' invitation to come. We don't know who Lord Gregory Holmes is yet. He's not one of the names here. That's obviously me. That's my mama. And this is... Giuseppe. Okay, he doesn't look that much like uh, Von Von Bullshit, whatever his name was. <laughs> um, okay. But immune to logic, we have yet to discover her vulnerability. Um, so I didn't use logic uh, to, to attempt to seduce her, whatever the heck that was. I used some kind of smooth talk and it worked. Um, but we have another opportunity popping up here. At least now I know not to use logic on Emily. Answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Okay. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. 
Okay. Can we believe that vision? Either way, we made Emily blush. Um, I know, I know I, I, I mocked the outfit, but she's a smoke show. All right. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Okay. All right, guys, here are the talents. And we are well on our way to unlocking some of them. Ambassador, Diplomatic Mastery, Athlete, Machiavellian. All right, so in unlocking these, um, and it, it shows you how to level up manipulation and psychology, uh, you gain one extra point when you exploit a vulnerability. Okay, that's interesting. Subtle. Succeed in two confrontations, gain two skill points. Okay, well, this is going to be fun, guys. This is what appeals to me about this game. There is a lot to it. The way that you choose to build your character and the decisions you make as you go through this first chapter, uh, I mean, this whole first uh, episode, whatever they're going to call it, is going to change the story in a big way. I'm excited to explore. All right, now I did notice a clue as wa we walked up here. I thought there was one right down here. Nope. Okay, that must have been to talk to Emily. Uh, I think. Oh no, there it is. That's the clue I spotted earlier. Let's see if we can have a look at this. Royal Jelly. Um, it restores effort points. You can't recover more than five. Oh, you can't Great. carry more than five. Honey. And our effort points are those uh, diamonds in the bottom left, so taking that honey right now would be pointless. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. All right. All right, and I did see a second clue here. Let's see if we can locate that. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Okay, more of the same. Yet, yet, yet to find an actual clue, I'll say that. All right, so we're supposed to go up to the manor. That is a servant. I think what I'm going to do first is... Good oh, no. evening, sir. May Didn't I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Okay. What do you know? Where is Lord Mortimer? Let's ask this fool. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured... We shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Okay. Difficulty zero, questioning locked. So I can't go that route, I think that means? Let's Did just anyone this. see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. Sarah we came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother. Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. So, um, if I had logic, we could use that here. If I had manipulation, we could use it here. Luckily, we have this. At difficulty zero, uh, you'll give me the handkerchief. That's conviction. Okay, so this is a diplomat skill. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But, sir, I... I'll speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. 
Uh, of course, sir. Please take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Nailed it. All right, so one thing it that... It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? All right, guys. So, uh, our first opportunity to investigate. The first thing that I will say is it bothers me that those servants are all going to be wearing masks and uh, wearing those powdered wigs. It, they could be anybody. That could have been Lord Mortimer. For for all we know, that could have been Von Borchert. I keep wanting to call him Von Bullshit. But yes, I did have the the um, instinct to come and explore here. And we'll see if we can find clues along the way. There's one. There's our first clue. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Dang it. Finding a lot of dang sugar. Okay, 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 okay. Cracked or marked or... Hey. Cracked. There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Well, there's stuff underneath it. I can, I can already see it. Okay, so I'm not... Uh, Rip it up. Stand back. Examine. Somebody replaced it recently. But looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Okay. Can we try? Ah, uh, shit! Uh, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. All right, well, let's see what we can figure out, guys. We are not strong enough, and even if we were, that would require three of those effort points. Um, we got one back by exploiting a vulnerability in the servant, which worked out well. Um, I wonder if that's a malleable thing, if... Um Uh, if if the choices you make at the beginning determine what the vulnerability of the servants is. All right. So, um... I had a feeling this would be locked. Uh, open the gate, step back. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Okay, pick the lock, but I don't have that skill. Step back. All right, so we do need to find a... Pry bar or something if it exists out here guys Otherwise, we're not opening this up and figuring out what the heck is underneath, right? Examine stand back Okay, well, let's see what we can find I feel as though I, I looked I looked everywhere on this little dock on our way down, but maybe I missed something that would work as a pry bar. Oh, what was that little noise? There. Pound. Okay. Uh, the coins must be a Easter egg type thing. Not an Easter egg, but like a, an achievement. Collect them all. All right, we really need some kind of pry bar. That looks like it. Okay. Oh, two, two new clues here. Okay. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Seeds. Yes. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the okay. tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take it, of course. This might just come in handy. The tip has been blackened by cannon powder. That is a bizarre bit of information, don't you think here? Oh, and I see another new clue. That this was not here before. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay, well, let's let's not go searching through her things. What do we got here? Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Broken? It looks pretty good to me. Looks in fine condition, to be honest. Um, I'm going to do one last tour down the dock here, guys, and we can jog, which is nice. Just make sure that no other new clues have appeared. There we go. There's some rope. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Okay. A lantern. A lantern. Nothing special. Oh. 
uh, another coin. Let's see what's hidden inside. Uh, examine letters. Let's look. Okay. Oh, Lord. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Okay. Oh, nice. I know that language. This letter's in Japanese. It's, it's addressed to a certain K. Shotaro in Tokyo. Okay. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. One of these will be relevant to us here, guys. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. That's a Brazilian name. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. All right, and... Oh, Lord. Okay. Probably a Dutch Dutchman. Dutchman. <laughs> Reading your mind, Louis. Okay. Name rings a bell. No. Etiquette. Okay, so this is going to require two of our points, as you guys can see in the bottom uh, left there. Haute de Cluny, Rue de Maturin, Paris. I guarantee this letter is for my mother. The address is a hideout for the Golden Order. If you write anyone over there, you have to watch out in case someone's reading your mail. But who is this Samuel Ritter Dauchois? Let's see what's inside this letter. Oh, don't so. get caught, Louis. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. So I, I is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. I think it's a name from history, by the way, sounds guys. so familiar? Something from French Revolution, if my memory serves. This is me. Um, but I, I believe I know that name from French God, history. It's coming back to me. Godoy is the head of the Spanish government. Wrong. He was appointed by King Charles IV, if I'm not mistaken. Rumor has it that he's very close to the queen. Too close. Much too close, but hey, oh, that's none lover. of my business. He has a reputation of being upright and proud, very attached to the aristocracy, and close to Louis XVI. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. Awesome. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Okay, okay, guys, okay. This is cool. Uh, now, I know the pace of this is slow. If we don't take the time to do all this investigation, we will not be able to solve this. Um, let's take a moment. Immunity to etiquette. Manuel Godoy, we haven't met him, so we don't have his face. We get to look at the lovely Emily once again. Uh, we don't know anything about him except his immunity to etiquette. And that letter my mom wrote, it, it seems as though it's, it's coded. Like, she's suggesting something other than what the letter says. The gift... Like, like the person receiving the letter, Ritter, would know the gift, uh, even though she didn't specify it. Maybe it's a gun or something. Who knows? Let's see Let's what see else is here, inside. just to be safe. It seems as though we've probably discovered Let's the look. main clues, but uh, let's have a look. Uh, we checked all these. Verhoeven. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And his eminence. Okay, so another cardinal, perhaps? This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Okay, now if we had a certain skill, occultism, we would be able to get another clue here. This but name sounds familiar. Prashi, Prashi, Prashi. No, I can't seem to place it. All right, guys, I think we have been through all of these letters. 
uh, look for more clues or go to the manor. We now have a bar that ought to give us the ability to pry open that bit of either the gate. Either we can pry open the gate or uh, we'll have the opportunity to pry open that floorboard and see what exactly what is hidden underneath. We know, well, we don't know, but we can, we can assume that our mom was on this dock. Um, throughout this adventure, I'm going to assume that every single person, including Emily, who looks like my mom and her aren't pals, I'm going to assume that every single person is working together against me to deceive me. I can't trust that that servant saying he found the... Uh, the, the napkin. That's not the right word. Doily? That thing. What's it called? <laughs> anyway, her, her thing. Her handkerchief. Uh, I can't trust that he said he found it on the docks, therefore sh it was on the docks. Um, or that, that maybe he's trying to lure me here. Maybe he said he found it on the docks and they stashed whatever the heck is under this board. I know for sure there's stuff under the board. You can see it as you lean. You can see it right now. Let's have a look. Okay, use the rusty iron bar. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. Mm-hmm. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. Okay. For crying so. out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? We're going to keep the book. Manuscripts. Okay, they allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. Okay, cool. So at some, points, at some points, at some points, we're going to have the opportunity to a read. A few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Uh, let's start with the powder. It's probably more cannon powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. What? That's it? Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. And this bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. You should be able to... The fruit's still firm. And the bread's a bit stale. There you go. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last... Two more days. Okay, I was just thinking that with fruit and bread, you'd be able to get some kind of time. An iron key completely rusted. Now, we're going to take the key. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. And we are going to... I think we're going to leave the bag. We've, we, we can't examine everything. Right. Let's stand back. That's enough. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this... It's because she thought she might need it later. For crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. I had to take the key because the key could very well be used right frickin' here. Use the iron key. Yes! There we are. Thank you, Mama. All right, guys, so there is an additional part of the dock that we now get to investigate to see what the heck is up. No immediate clues. Here we go. More royal jelly, probably. Right. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Look, it looks like we're missing three of those, um, three of those things. Um, inventory. So if we go... But you can only carry five, so why don't we go ahead? How do you use? Traits? Okay. Talents, character, map. Okay. And we Okay, we've got no points to spend. There's the map. Okay, so we have been we've been to all of this. Uh, how do I use the royal jelly? Uh Yes. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then what do we have here? 
This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. The same pistol from the vision. This has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. All right, so she has the gun that we see her use in the vision. Of course she does. It, her key found with her things, allowing access to this portion hmm, this of the dock. This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Okay, and this is a bro- uh -huh. this is actually broken. What are we here? It's cannon powder. Okay, science would allow us to it's figure out- now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, right. let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of- Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to interrupt Amber. that. In the middle of the night. Whoops. Okay, so he was about to surmise, uh, about to summarize and explain what was going on. So let's let's do it ourselves. Mom's been hiding stuff down here. Among the stuff, which is definitely hers, was a key, which gave access to this part of the dock where we found an empty gun case and an opened black powder keg. Maybe she's using that for ammo for the gun. There are broken shackles here. They are clearly not clues. And it looks, since he was going to stop and summarize, that we've discovered whatever clues may be hiding back here. Is that right? I feel pretty confident, guys. I think it is time to go to the manor. In fact, it's telling us now no longer need to search. We can go straight up to the manor. All right, guys. And I think, just based on my own first instinct, that this will make an excellent first episode. Once we get into the manor... All sorts of intrigues will be in play. We will begin meeting new characters and potentially more conversations with the characters we've already met. Uh, so before we get any further, I think we should stop right here. If you guys find yourself enjoying this uh, part of my playthrough of the council, be sure to click the like button and be sure to leave me some love in the comments let me know what you think are you hooked uh, and have you played this do you have any advice for me on how to proceed either way guys i am having a lot of fun and without without a break i'm going to jump straight into recording the next uh, part of my playthrough and for you guys watching the next part of the playthrough will be out one day later uh, click the playlist link that's popping up on the screen right now if you want to watch the entire thing Click my face to subscribe, and uh, you can click this Patreon logo if you'd like to support me there. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Unite the Clans. This is the Council, Episode 1, The Mad Ones, and I will see you in the next part of my playthrough.